Good day everyone, this is Teacher Isa. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Pratum 4. And today, we're going to discuss about mass and weight. Before we proceed to our topic, let us learn first some vocabulary words for the day, at the same time reading the objective. Okay, number one. Students are able to understand the meaning of the words in context. Number two, students are able to pronounce each word correctly. Number three, students are able to spell each vocabulary word. Okay, here are some of the vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number one, mass. Number two, weight. Number three, newton. Number four, spring balance. Number five, compression balance. Okay, let us read one more time. All together, number one, mass. Number two, weight. Number three, newton. Number four, spring balance. And number five, compression balance. Moving on, let us spell out each of the vocabulary words that we have learned for today. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Number one, mass. M A S S, mass. Mass is measured by the amount of matter in an object. Example sentence Bigger masses makes bigger splashes. Next word, weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, weight. Weight of an object measures how much is the gravitational force acting on it. Example sentence, in his spare time, he enjoys weight lifting. Next word, we have Newton. Spell out the word Newton. N-E-W-T-O-N. Newton. The SI derived unit used to measure force. One Newton is equal to the force needed to accelerate a mass of one kilogram one meter per second example sentence one single newton of force can accelerate an object with a mass of one kilogram at one meter per second next word we have here spring balance s p R I N G B A L A N C E Spring Balance A spring balance measures the weight of an object by opposing the force of gravity acting with the force of an extended spring. Example sentence Spring balances come in different sizes. The last word, the last vocabulary words that we have for today, 
compression balance. Okay. C O M P R E S S I O N B A L A N C E compression balance. It used to measure weight. Example sentence. How much do you think this potato weighs? Now this time, we will talk about mass. Now let us read first the objective of our study. Number one, students are able to explain what mass is. Number two, students can identify the difference between the object that has mass or the object without mass. Now, let us define first what is mass. Okay, mass is measured by the amount of matter in an object. The more matter an object has, the greater mass it has. So, the greater mass an object has, the harder it is to move. Therefore, the mass of an object affects its motion. How to find mass? The mass of an object is measured in grams or in kilograms. In the given example, by looking at the number where the arrow is pointed, we can find the mass of an object. In the picture shown, the mass of an object is 3.8 kilograms. Moving on, let us learn what is the meaning of weight and the difference of weight from mass. Weight is the gravitational force that acts on an object. Difference of weight from mass, weight of the body varies from place to place and becomes zero at the center of the earth and far away from the earth's surface. While mass of the body is constant everywhere in the universe. Weight depends on the gravitational force. Mass, on the other hand, resists to this force. That is why mass is universally constant, meaning it does not change unlike weight. There are two devices in measuring weight. First is the spring balance. Spring balance is the type of mechanical force gauge or weighing scale. It consists of a spring fixed at one end with a hook to attach an object at the other hand. The second is the compression balance, a weighing device that is used to measure weight. At this point, we are going to have some activities. In this activity, you are going to identify whether the object is heavier or the object is lighter. Which is heavier, feather or pencil? What do you think is your answer? Correct. Pencil is heavier than the feather. Next. Which is lighter, the book or the seashell? What do you think is the answer? Good job. Seashell is lighter than the book. Next. 
Which is lighter, bucket or playing card? What is your answer? Correct. Playing card is much lighter than the bucket. The next one, which is heavier, crayon or jam jar? What is your answer? Correct. Jam jar is heavier compared to crayons. That ends our topic for today. And thank you so much for listening. And hope to see you next time.